In April, after long months of unsettling silence, a faint signal finally reached Earth from Voyager 1, our most distant emissary, drifting more than 15 billion miles away. At first glance, it looked like a routine transmission, just another line of telemetry from an aging spacecraft. But buried in the data was something far stranger. Voyager hadn't simply re-established contact. It had returned carrying messages that cracked open new mysteries, reshaping everything we thought we knew about the very edge of the solar system and the uncharted vastness beyond. What it revealed wasn't a neat update or reassuring report. It was a glimpse into a reality no one had fully anticipated. Voyager 1, launched in 1977, had already become humanity's trailblazer into interstellar space. After crossing the heliopause, the invisible boundary where the sun's influence fades and the interstellar medium begins, he became our first true envoy to the stars. For decades, scientists imagined this boundary as a kind of curtain, a clean separation between the solar bubble and the great unknown. But Voyager's instruments told a very different story. That frontier is not clean. It is messy, turbulent, and alive with unseen forces. Now, with its latest transmissions, Voyager 1 is uncovering secrets so profound they are forcing scientists to rethink not just the edge of our solar system, but the very structure of the galaxy itself. The spacecraft's instruments were designed in the 1970s, yet they are still capable of detecting phenomena no one foresaw. Among the most startling discoveries came from its magnetometer readings. Voyager detected a magnetic field in interstellar space that was tilted far more sharply than scientists predicted. This wasn't just a minor misalignment. It suggested that Voyager had entered a region of magnetic turbulence, a zone where galactic magnetic fields twist and reconnect like cosmic braids. These aren't small fluctuations. They are immense structures stretching across unimaginable distances, structures that could shape the movement of charged particles and influence how stars are born and die. Instead of drifting through emptiness, Voyager is navigating through a cosmic labyrinth of magnetic storms. Then came the plasma findings. Voyager's instruments picked up spikes in density, almost like waves of pressure rolling across the interstellar ocean. These weren't random fluctuations. They appeared to be shock fronts, the echoes of ancient supernova explosions that detonated tens of thousands of years ago. The energy of those blasts is still rippling outward, carving invisible scars into the fabric of interstellar space. Even more astonishing, Voyager's plasma wave instrument detected a low-frequency hum, a constant oscillation. Space isn't silent. It vibrates. It whispers with a steady, ghostly resonance. Imagine an ocean where every swell carries the memory of storms from ages past. That is what Voyager hears as it drifts deeper into the galactic sea. To put it in perspective, Voyager isn't flying through an empty vacuum. It is moving through an invisible fog, a medium made of tenuous gas, plasma, and radiation. And this fog is not uniform. It has layers, patches of higher density, warmer regions, cooler voids. The spacecraft is charting these like a sailor mapping new climate zones across a vast, uncharted ocean. The interstellar medium is structured, alive with patterns and complexity. What we once assumed was nothingness turns out to be more like a weather system, complete with fronts, boundaries, and turbulence. The deeper Voyager pushes, the stranger things become. Immediately after crossing the heliopause, its detectors recorded a sudden surge of high-energy cosmic rays. These particles, accelerated to near the speed of light by distant supernovae and black holes, were far more intense than expected. The rise was abrupt, as though Voyager had stepped across a hidden threshold. What this revealed is staggering. The sun's protective bubble, our heliosphere, shields us far more effectively than scientists had realized. Within it, Earth and the planets reside in a kind of cosmic oasis, 
protected from the full brunt of galactic radiation. Outside, however, that protection vanishes and Voyager is exposed to the raw, violent energies of interstellar space. But even this radiation wasn't uniform. Subtle variations appeared, patterns that hinted at natural corridors of energy flow. It was as if Voyager was detecting highways through space, invisible channels along which particles stream. Some astrophysicists now believe Voyager may be mapping pressure gradients that extend across entire swaths of the galaxy. These patterns could be the remnants of vast explosions that reshaped our galactic neighborhood millions of years ago, leaving behind voids and currents in the interstellar medium. Voyager, drifting alone, may be tracing the fingerprints of cosmic catastrophes that predate human civilization. Yet the spacecraft's survival was never guaranteed. In late 2023, the unimaginable happened. Voyager 1 went silent. For months, its transmissions degraded into static and noise. To many, it felt like a death knell. The end of an extraordinary mission that had already lasted 46 years, far beyond anyone's expectations. But NASA's engineers refused to give up. They discovered that a high-energy cosmic ray had likely corrupted one of Voyager's memory chips, crippling its ability to send usable data. The irony was cruel. The very phenomena Voyager was sent to study had nearly destroyed it. The solution required ingenuity bordering on the impossible. Across a gulf of 15 billion miles, where every radio command takes more than 22 hours to arrive, engineers attempted what could only be described as remote brain surgery. They rewrote and rerouted the spacecraft's code, shifting it into unused sections of memory, workarounds that no one had ever anticipated needing. It was like reviving a patient across light days of distance using tools from the 1970s. And against all odds, it worked. In April 2024, Voyager 1 began transmitting usable data again. First came basic telemetry, then magnetometer and plasma readings, and eventually all four of its active science instruments were restored. The spacecraft had been resurrected. Now, what Voyager is uncovering goes beyond mere scientific curiosity. Its data is becoming the first true map of interstellar space. By recording variations in plasma density, magnetic orientation, and radiation levels, scientists are piecing together a three-dimensional model of our cosmic neighborhood. Think of it like a weather satellite, but instead of charting clouds and storms on Earth, Voyager is mapping the invisible forces that shape the galaxy. These findings may one day guide future spacecraft, showing which interstellar corridors are safe to travel and which regions are dangerous with turbulence and radiation. Already, astrophysicists are realizing that these discoveries could explain some of the biggest mysteries of star formation. The orientations of magnetic fields, the density of plasma clouds, the turbulence of the interstellar medium, all of these influence where stars can be born and how galaxies evolve. Voyager has revealed that the space between stars is not static. It is dynamic, textured, and alive. We are beginning to understand that galaxies are not just made of stars, but of the vast, unseen ocean that flows between them. Voyager's scientific mission is nearing its twilight. Its power source, a decaying plutonium generator, grows weaker each year. Sooner or later, its instruments will fall silent. But its voyage will not end. The spacecraft will continue drifting for millennia, carrying with it the golden record, a time capsule of Earth, etched with greetings, music, and images of our world. In 40,000 years, Voyager will pass near another star. Long after humanity has changed beyond recognition, Voyager will still be traveling, still bearing our message to the cosmos. No, Voyager hasn't found aliens or wormholes. What it has revealed may be even more profound. It has shown us that the interstellar medium is not empty. It is structured, turbulent, and humming with energy. The edge of our solar system is not a clean line but a chaotic frontier 
alive with cosmic storms and whispers of ancient supernovae. Voyager has shown us that we live in a rare sanctuary, shielded by the sun's bubble, surrounded by a violent galactic sea. And so, as Voyager drifts onward, we listen. Each signal could be its last, each packet of data a final gift. What else lies out there, in the silence between the stars? What truths remain too vast for its aging instruments to capture? Perhaps some mysteries will forever remain beyond our reach. But Voyager's legacy is not about certainty. It is about the questions it leaves behind, the mysteries that draw us forward, compelling us to keep exploring, keep reaching, keep daring to look beyond. The universe is not finished, not explained, not tamed. It is alive. It is strange. It is beautiful. And Voyager, our silent messenger in the dark, reminds us of this truth. It tells us that the journey has only just begun.